Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Made in C. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write data to S3 using Python. So to do this, you will be using the Porto3 module, which is an AWS SDK for Python. So in the Porto3 module, we will create an S3 client and we will use the put object method of S3 client to write data to S3. So without much delay, let's get started and see how to do this. So first, I'll walk you through the put object method of the well, S3 client and see, I'll, let's understand the syntax of the put object method. Okay, so I am in this uh, Boto3 documentation of uh, S3. So if you see here, these are the methods available to the S3 client. Okay, so in your program, once you create the S3 client uh, like this, these are all the methods that you can call on this client. So in this uh, example, we will be using the put object method. Let me click on that put object. Okay, if you see here, it adds an object to a bucket. Okay, so you must basically have the right permissions. Okay, because you're writing the data to S3 bucket. And let's see the syntax of that put object. Okay, so this is the request syntax. Okay, so you can call the client dot put object, and these are all the parameters that you can pass. Okay, so now not all these are compulsory. I will have. I mean, the body is the very key. That is the content of the file that you want to write and the bucket the name of the bucket and here if you see the key the key is the file in s3 to which you want to write the data so these are the three uh, main parameters all these are optional depending on your i mean the this is access control list uh, that you want to keep it as private or not all these uh, tagging and all that stuff okay all these are optional uh, only we will provide only these three parameters the body uh, bucket and the key name so you can go through this detailed documentation that AWS has on every method and you can I mean understand the better and the response syntax will actually provide you what is the uh, I mean uh, the e tag of the file that is created and all this stuff okay so now uh, now that we have understood the put object method of uh, S3 let's uh, write the code and run our program so I already have the code ready. I just need to import the Boto3 module and import the JSON because I will be writing the JSON data. And like I said earlier, I have created an S3 client here using Boto3.client S3. So this is the data, very simple data that I am going to write to my S3 bucket. Okay, so I'm going to route right to this bucket. Let me show you that bucket once. So if you see here, there are two objects that are present in my bucket. We will write a new file using the put object and come back here and verify if it has written successfully. Okay, so this is my data and I am using the JSON dot dump as to dump the data to JSON format. And once I do that here in the S3, I am calling the put object method on S3 client. And for to that put object method, I am passing the three parameters body is equal to data. This is a JSON data and this is the bucket to which I want to write the data to and the key is the name of the file uh, that will be created in the bucket okay if you pass something like uh, this it will in the bucket inside the bucket uh, the directory called dbc will be created and inside that the file will be created okay uh, i will just write to a new file okay so this is it very simple program if you want basically you can i mean the data can be very complex like you can read from a file and write it to s3 so let's uh, run this program and check if it executes successfully. I just clicked on run. I'll wait for the program to succeed. And then yeah, if you see here, uh, the process finished with exit code zero. Now, if you want, basically here, you can give like a response is equal to, and also you can print the response if you want. Here, uh, you can get all the uh, response syntax that I showed you in the documentation. But yeah, this I would have already posted in my S3. Let me go to my S3 bucket and click refresh here. So if you see here, a new file got loaded called uh, new underscore file. And in this file, let me click on select from and see if it wrote the exact same data that we passed in. Select the file format as JSON and show file preview. Okay, so if you see here, this is the data that we wrote from our program name AWS MyDC. So that's how you use the put object method of S3 uh, client to write data using Python to S3 bucket. Hope you understood and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.